Are you planning to buy AGV Pista GP Double R? These are the things you should need to know. Welcome YouTube, this is Ben Gonzaga. As you know, I love riding motorcycle. As for me, the first and most important motorcycle gear that you should buy is a helmet. AGV Pista GP Double R is one of the sickest and sharpest motorcycle helmet that you can find in the market. You may find it very tempting to buy one, but before you do, let me share to you the 5 things I hate about the AGV Pista GP Double R. I bought this helmet for a price of 64,000 pesos. Expensive, right? Why would it not be? It is a carbon fiber helmet, it is made in Europe, and it is used by famous MotoGP champions. For the value that I spent for this helmet, I'm quite disappointed with my experience with it. Because number one, wind noise. When I reach a speed of 200 km per hour, I can already hear excessive wind noise. Noise that really hurts my ears. That's a problem because when I'm in the zone and I'm feeling it, I want to squeeze the throttle and I want to speed up. For this reason, even if I'm in an open highway, I cannot enjoy the ride. And the annoying part is AGV knows it. And their only solution to it is just including 3M earplugs in their box. Nice one, AGV. Nice. Number two, visors. There are times when I'm riding in cities where I cannot put some speed. I like to keep my visor open and I'd like to feel the air coming into my face. I'm living in the Philippines and there are a lot of bumpy roads and humps on the streets. And the visors keeps on closing and closing every time I hit them. Come on AGV! Even the cheap helmets can hold their visors up. In addition to the visor, it is also not anti-scratch and anti-fog. Yes, we can use the pin lock to make the visor fog resistant. But the thing with pin locks is the dirt and the dust accumulates between the visor and the pin lock. This accumulated dust will result to a permanent damage not only on your pin lock but also to your visors, which will result to a poor visibility. And you will need to buy again a new visor that is around 8,000 to 10,000 pesos. You may try to clean the visor to remove the scratches and marks, but good luck with it. Number three, weight. The reason that I bought a carbon fiber helmet is because of its durability and lightness. But man, this helmet has so much weight on it. Compared to other carbon fiber helmets, this is much heavier. But it may be a good sign that this helmet is stiffer. Number four, shape. Because of its long oval shape and pointy chin, this helmet looked sharp. But it is also the reason for the wind drag. In high speeds, when I turn my head to look behind, I can feel the wind dragging my head. Compared to my rounded shaped helmet, there is no wind drag at all. Number five, not intercom red. Intercom nowadays is very common. It is not only important for playing your favorite soundtrack, but also to have a means of communication with your ride buddies. And you're right, this helmet does not have slots for speakers. And it sucked that I needed to retrofit a slots for them. You might think I'm stupid that I put holes to the styros of my helmet, but hey, it works for me. And that is the 5 things I hate about my AGV Pista Double R. Don't get me wrong, AGV is still a good helmet. Out of 10, I could say that it's around 7. With all those cons, I still find this helmet the slickest when it comes to looks and design. Not to mention the liners, it's really premium. I just wish that there could be a fix with the issues regarding this helmet so that the bikers could have a great riding experience when using it. And that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. This is Vin Gonzaga. See you to the next one.